Hello, 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 hello. Good evening, good evening. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher, good evening. Thank good evening. you. Good evening, good evening. Good evening. So let's see. I don't have any message in the group, so I was not able to find it, but I have it here. So let me uh, get in the other device because um, I have... Um, I have some classes before this one. Uh, entonces estoy en otra meeting, so. Yeah. I, uh, I understand uh, words. Eh... Ah, me <laughs> yeah, I'm connected. As I told you, I'm in another meeting before, so. At eight o'clock, I left the, the other meeting and I joined this one, right? But I'm already connected in another device. So device. now, <laughs> ah, yeah, the device. Word, device. <laughs> device. Now, yes, I'm connected in the two devices and I'm ready. Just a moment. So we are, my goodness, we are just night today. Night people, my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh. My goodness. That is Sulma. <laughs> You're dancing, Sulma Rosaura. My goodness. Okay, but I already mute. Okay. Bien, um, let's start. Let's start. My goodness, we are 11. So, esperen que vengan más. Aha, Darwin, you are there. Aha, nice. Sulma, thank you for your camera. Okay, Michelle, now you are 100% in the class. Nice. Mayra, Melanie, nice to see you. Ada Patricia, like always on time, like Angela and Osmin, always on time, right? Thank you, Jancy, for your camera. Um, let's see who else is missing. Lourdes, Lourdes, you are having dinner. Yes, teacher. No yet. No yet. <laughs> okay, no problem. So, go ahead. Go ahead. Finish your dinner. So, in my case, I'm eating and doing many things at the same time. Créanme que hasta he tenido frío during the whole day. Uh, um because I'm in the building, it's really, really cold because of the AC. So I'm all, on the whole day, I'm like freezing. But when I arrive home and I start running, doing the Guantendo and, and another team eating at the same time, preparing everything, getting everything ready. So I'm sweating, okay? You know, sweating, sudando is, you know, right? So, That's the way it is, okay? That's the way it is. But let's see, now we are 12. Ya vinieron two more. Okay, so we are going to start. We need to be complete because we are going to start with the focus group, right? So did you remember the focus group that we have for today? Yep, 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 or no. Okay, 
Oh, Flor, nice to see you, Flor de Maria. Rosa Elena, nice. Good evening. Are... Good evening, good evening, Gloria. Nice, nice, you are here now. Perfect, okay. So like always, you know, I have to pass the attendance. Um, that's the way that we start every single class. So today is Tuesday, right? I'm kind of lost in the time. So yeah, today is Tuesday. Um, the the day. Oh my goodness! Today, today was a payday. Oh no, what's not a payday for you? What is that? Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! What is that? <laughs> So when you get money, okay, Darwin, oh, oh, Darwin, no. it is a payday for you, Darwin. No teacher, in my case, I pay the Friday, the last Friday. Oh my God, look, that is business. He's the manager, he's the owner. So he received the salary in advance, okay? Poor people, yeah, yeah, we receive salary today, but rich people, you know, administrative people, they receive a salary um, today, okay? So let's see, what about you, Mayra, Melanie, it is a payday today for you or not? Yes, yes right? Today. So yeah. it is, it is, um, funny right because we get so exciting when it's payday but then suddenly we just take the money and then we say this is for this this is for this this is for the bills this is for the house this is for food this is to pay uh the water light phone so and at the end you are Goodbye. poor one more time waiting for the next quincena right <laughs> oh my god yeah it is it is like that but the good thing is that we have right the opportunity to pay the bills, pay the house, pay the food. Thank God, right? So we have salary, we have a job, and we are able to afford, okay? Afford, you know the word afford? Yes? Yep, 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 yep. Afford is pagar. No. No, no, afford. Mm. Afford. When I say we are afford, uh, afford to do different activities, like capacity, okay, like capacity, because not everyone is able to afford uh, bills. So, like, have the capacity to pay. They have the capacity to. Um, I don't know, pay the house and everything, right? The bills. And we are able to afford, afford that, okay? So somos capaces de pagar, right? Esas cosas, hay personas que no, they don't, okay? So that's the way it is. And I know that it's kind of sad because we just get the money, we receive the money and then for a couple of minutes, we are rich. <laughs> but then, a couple of minutes later, we are poor people one more time. So this is just for us, right? Uh, Darwin, it's not the case. He is always uh, wealthy. Guess wealthy. Yeah, so on a wealthy people, on a wealthy person, guess wealthy. Nadie, 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 si yo digo, oh. Adinerado. Ah, ah, wealthy people, Darwin, wealthy people. <laughs> Como lo molestamos, Darwin. Pero no, ok, but that's, that's the way it is, right, wealthy, ok. Una persona wealthy, adinerado, y verdad, le sobra, ok. So, I guess it's not the case um, for us, but at least we have... Um, a house, we have something to eat every day. And 
I feel proud and I feel happy when I pay everything. So, aunque vuelva a ser pobre, pero pagué. Okay, so, and that is satisfaction, right? So, when you pay everything and then you continue with your life. Uh, and that's why we have to study every single day, every single uh, time that we have the chance. I don't know why I'm a, uh, I don't know how to say, but I really like to be learning something, okay? So I am in classes as well, like you. Before this class, I have class. Obviously they are online, right? So I don't have time to go to a place. So the same uh, from INSA4, I'm taking some courses online. So I have to be connected like you, okay? And I do homeworks and everything in the platform and everything. And I'm always uh, happy to learn something new. So that's why um, I really recommend you to continue studying, okay? I know it's not easy. So today I felt like kind of not sleepy because I don't feel sleepy. I already drink coffee. So, but I felt like, um, I don't know, kind of uh, DC kind of, I don't know how to say. And I feel that I, like if I can get, uh, I, I'm like with symptom, symptoms of flu, but hopefully it won't be. My goodness, I talk, I talk too much. I have to pass the attendance. So yeah, empezó todo esto porque today is payday, right? Eh... My goodness, we have comments right here. Oscar. Mm -hmm. Me están poniendo notas aquí de, de parte de los admin por la inasistencia. Be careful, los que han faltado mucho. Eh, Susana Carolina no está aquí, ¿verdad? Bien. Yes, I am here. Susana Carolina. Yes. Yes, I'm here. Okay, okay. So be careful with your attendance, okay? No me falte, no me falte, okay? Yo sé que I it's not easy, okay? But please do not miss the classes porque ya me están poniendo notitas aquí que eh, con respecto al attendance. No lo puedo compartir esto, right? Porque es algo interno, pero eh, sí hay unas notas aquí que que mandan a, a decir aquí que, que, que pasa, right? So, let's see, let's see the attendance, okay? Uh, let's see, Ada Patricia. Present. Thank you, Patricia. Adriana Stephanie. Present. Thank you, Atri. Ana Michelle. Present. Thank you, Angela. Present, teacher. Good evening. Nice, good evening, Darwin. Present, teacher. Thank you, Flor de Maria. Present. Thank you, Flora. Gloria Elizabeth. Here. Thank you. Joanna Patricia. No. Lourdes Beatriz. Present. Thank you, Margarita Stephanie. Margarita, Margarita. No. Mayra Melanie. Present teacher. Thank you. Nelson Edgardo. Good evening teacher. Good evening, nice to listening and see you one more time, Nelson. Uh, Ophelia Orellana. Here teacher. Thank you. Osmin Baires. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening. Uh, Rafael Ernesto. Present, good evening. Good evening, Rafael. Rosa Elena. Present. 
Thank you, Sandra Gladys. Present teacher. Thank you, Sandra. Susana Carolina. Present, Miss. Thank you, Chancy Lisbeth. Present. Thank you, and Sulma. Present. Okay, thank you. We have just Margarita and Joanna Patricia. Okay, Miss, and then the rest. Uh, we are here. Okay, nice. Thank you for being on time. Thank you for your cameras. Um, okay, Rafael, thank you for the message. You have the attendance there. So uh, let's see, let's start, okay? We are going to start with the uh, focus group, okay? So let's see, Osmin, which is the topic that we have for the focus group or focus uh, group? Yes, uh, my question and the question. topic, the topic, what is the topic? Uh, yeah, excuse me. Excuse me. Did you remember? Excuse me. Uh, no, excuse me, I don't remember. <laughs> okay. Holiday. Uh huh. What is Holiday? it? Holidays, okay? Holiday. Holidays, celebrations, holidays, oh, okay? Yes. So that is, the, that is the topic that we have for our um, focus group, okay? So uh, Darwin, I already resend the questions that we have. Remember that we have, let's see. We have four and in, in three. So the four questions that we have in the first message, those four are for the uh, survey. And the other three are for the um, questionnaire, right? So that's the way we say it, right? Nice. Okay, so let's see. We are all the attendants, right? We are all the ones that are, go are going to uh, participate, right, in the in this in this focus group. So we have uh, the leader, okay, Rosa Elena. She is the leader, so she is going to. Uh, ask the questions to the participants, okay? So we have uh, Darwin, you are the one that is taking notes. And let's see, we have, we need to have someone as well helping uh, Darwin with the answers, okay? So we have to do like a survey, okay? So let's see if we can invent uh, something like, I don't know, like a, a format. I don't know who is in a computer. I don't know, Mayra, Melanie, if you are in a computer. So probably you can create like a quickly Google Doc. And uh, do like a link to answer the, 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 the questions really quick. So in that way we can get the answers, okay? With the survey, okay? You can help us with that. You can basically copy paste the the questions that we have in the WhatsApp. And the question number one is, do you celebrate these holidays? Number two, where do you celebrate the holidays? Number three, do you eat chicken in holidays? And the number four, do you cook in holidays? So thank you, Mayra, okay, for your assistance. So we will have to answer the 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 survey okay but as soon as we start okay and uh then we have the the questionnaire okay so with the questionnaire uh rosa elena you are the one on charge so what you can do is ask uh, fulanito sutanito menganito perenganito uh what do you do on holidays and uh we need to be able to answer okay so the idea of the focus group is get information, right? So that means that you need to talk, okay? You need to talk and you need to say everything that you do, okay? What do you do on holidays, okay? Oh, on holidays, what I normally do, I work during the date, in my case, right? So I work normally during the date. Then I clean the house, I try to, 
clean everything to be ready for the Christmas celebration. So then I start cooking, preparing uh, the dinner, preparing uh, like a dessert or something, okay? Uh, sometimes I go to the supermarket for uh, drinks or snacks or desserts. And um, then in the afternoon, so I uh, get dressed. I try to use something elegance, clothed, uh, the special clothes. I uh, normally I go to my uh, grandmother house and I get together with my cousins and la la la. So that's what you have to do. Okay, so tiene que dar una respuesta así un poco amplia, no solo decir, ah, oh, yes, I do. No, right? So when there are, they are open questions, okay? That means that the answer needs to be full or complete uh, answer, okay? So what we are going to do next? Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Quiero ver quién me va a ayudar con los results. Ofelia. Ofelia Orellana, you are the one, okay? So Ofelia Orellana, please help us with the results, okay? So los results de la survey Junto con Mayra en este caso, right? Because Mayra, you have the, the duck. So you will be able to see the answers. Okay, so you will be working together to get the, the results, okay, for the survey. Um, for the Mayra, in that case, for the survey, please try to put like the answers because if now we will have like open answers. Okay, for example, in the number one, do you celebrate the uh, holidays? Yes or no? Simple. Okay, where do you celebrate the holidays? At home, at my family house, with my friends. Okay, where? Okay, donde? Es unas three options ahí para que no haya de donde salir y una tenemos que responder. Do you eat a chicken in holidays? Yes or no? Simple. Do you cook in holidays? Yes or no? Okay. So because they are like close uh, questions. So the other ones, they are open. Okay. So in this case, let's see. It what is... Yes. For the survey only the for the first four questions. Yeah. Really? Okay. Yeah, just those four, okay? The other three are for the uh, questionnaire, but for the survey, we have just four, okay? okay. So, Mayra, Melanie, uh, Ophelia, let's see who else. Um, let's see, Jancy. Um, Darwin, so you are also in that group. So you four, Darwin, Mayra, Jancy, and Ophelia, you will be on charge to get the results for the SERP. Okay, so I will give you time and at the end, so you have to present the results. So then we have to analyze the questions. These ones are the ones that are open. So for this one, we will have Rosa, Elena, we will have Adri, Osmin, let's see who else. Um, Lourdes, Beatriz, and Michelle. Okay, acuérdense, después no me olvida. Rosa, Lourdes, Michelle, Adri, Osmin. ¿Quién más mencioné? Rose. Lourdes, Adriana, Michelle. Lourdes, Osmin, Adri, Rosa, Michelle, and Osmin, right? So you. So then the rest, we are the ones that will be expecting, okay? So acuérdense que en el focus group, 
hay diferentes roles, right? So Rosa Elena is the one that is on charge to conduct the activity, okay? So, but what you have to do is basically moderate the, 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 the questions, right? So, and uh, say who is the next person that will be uh, talking or answering the questions, okay? So, um, Mayra, it's working right now in the survey, okay? So, we are going to answer the survey, okay? So, let's see who else let's see um algunos creo que están los que no tienen cámara no sé si si están bueno angela angela sulma and flor you three you will provide you will give the conclusions at the end so you will do the closing, okay? Sulma, Flor de Maria, and Angela, okay? So you three. And let's see, me falta Ada Patricia, Gloria, and Sandra. Susana. I'm coming home very soon. Okay, okay, Susana, thank you, no problem, be careful. Nice. So, los que todavía no tenemos un rol en específico, somos espectadores. Acuérdense que en el focus group también están los que solo estamos participando, right? So, vamos a ver cómo nos sale. So, uh, Mayra, Melanie, almost done? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. The link on the chat. Okay, so you are going to provide the link. Just a few, a few minutes. Just give me one. Okay, you put it there. Okay, in the chat. So let's start. Okay, let's start. So Rosa Elena, so you can start. You can do like a brief introduction. Okay, welcome the people. Remember that those are. The, the steps right in the focus group present yourself and open the 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 course for the for all the participants okay so go ahead okay good evening everybody my name is rosa elena and we're we are going to carry out a focus group we are going to talking about celebrating holidays. I hope that you enjoy. And all the questions are elaborate uh, for uh, easy comprehension. And I don't know, I only that enjoy and ask, uh, answer, answer the question, please. Don't be shy. Yeah. Speak, speak, speak. <laughs> okay. okay, yeah, <laughs> nice. Okay, yeah, yeah. welcome everyone. And uh, participation is very important in this uh, focus group, okay? Your opinions are welcome, okay? And uh, we will see um, if you are interested on this topic, okay? So the topic is about holidays, so what we have right now, right? What we are celebrating right now, holidays, okay? So uh, we will have two, um, we will have two like sections in this focus group. The first one is a survey, okay? So thank you, uh, Mayra Melanie, we have the link. So we have two or three minutes the most to answer the survey, okay? Click on the link, answer the survey, be free to answer and please, submit your answers okay so we have three minutes okay three minutes so i will click the link as well and i will do it Ese 
No, yo estaba jugando. Estaba jugando de la Hi, hi. Que el día me levanté a Hi, good evening. Be careful with the mute. Okay, so I already sent my answers, okay? So... I don't know if we finish. If all of us finish, raise your hand virtually in the platform, okay? Raise your hand if you already complete the uh, survey. Pero solo lo que usted mencionó, vea, teacher, iban a llenar eso. No, the survey is for everyone. Todos, 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 todos. Todos. Yep. Vamos al link todos. Ajá, eso quiero entender si todos hay que entrar al link que mandó Mayrita. Yeah, everyone, everyone, oh, everyone. Okay. Yes. Yo aquí estaba esperando. Ok. No, let's do it. We are the Lo participants. Lo que mencionó es para participar en la segunda sección. ¿O para qué mencionó algunos nombres? Algunos son los que van a dar los resultados. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Pero todos vamos, todos vamos a participar llenando la encuesta ahorita. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. okay. I'm sorry, I don't know what happened with me. I feel like if I'm getting flu. Oh my God, I need a bio porque no me puede dar gripe a estas alturas de la vida. No, no puede, teacher. No le va a dar gripe primero. No me necesito, teacher. Uh -huh. O oh, una yeah. antigripal. Una antigripal, ya. Yeah. Da su reini. No sé en dónde estoy ni qué estoy. Se me perdió algo. Ok, so what about the rest? Raise your hand if you finish the survey. Vale, ¿cómo hago para cambiar? Porque aquí me parece tu cuenta. What do you mean, Angela? Solo las cuatro preguntas son, Beatrice. Yeah, there are just uh, four okay. answers. Okay, so, Osmin, did you finish the survey? Sandra, Rafael, Ofelia, Zulia. Yeah, yeah, yes, teacher, excuse me. I have a problem my answer. Okay, okay, no problem. Just raise your hand if you finish, okay? Yes. So, Angela. Hello, teacher, excuse me, que no puedo. Es que me aparece el correo de mi hija y yo no tengo como, hay que tener una cuenta en... Mm, no, you can use your daughter email, ah. so it's automatically just ah, like okay, okay. by default. Uh -huh. No hay problema, si es con no, el correo no, de no, vale. no. porque yo en esto de, de Microsoft, yo uso solo mi correo de Hotmail, el pers bueno, el que tengo para todo. Uh -huh. Ok, okay. No, but it's not no yes, uh, Ok, teacher. <laughs> Ok, 
Okay, I have 11 hands up. And the rest, Sandra, Ophelia, Susana, Rafael, Zulma. We are waiting I, for you. Eso era, teacher, solo llenar. Era levantar yeah, la mano. Sí, no. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, if you finish the survey, raise your hand. Okay, thank you, Nelson. Awesome. So, Nelson, did you finish? Yes, teacher, I don't. Okay, raise your hand. Keep your hand up. Ophelia, Rafael. Okay, Rafael, I guess he told me he's driving. And Ophelia, 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 are you here? Okay, finish, it says Ophelia. Rafael, okay, you are working. Okay, so we finished. Okay, so uh, let's see. Amaira um, Melanie, so you will be able to see the results. Okay, but we will, we will have time. Okay, don't worry. Okay, so we finished the first part that is just a survey, right? So in this ones, we just answer yes or no or the options, and that's it, right? So that is the first part. So now you can uh, lower your hands. You can lower your hands, okay? And let's continue with the uh, second part, okay? So in this case, uh, Rosa, you are the owner, so you are free to uh, start with the questions, okay? So choose anyone, okay, from this meeting and ask the questions, okay? You can start with the number one or the order is not important, okay? So you can ask them in a different in a different way. So the ones that are taking notes, the, the ones that I mentioned that it's Darwin, uh, Mayra Melanie, Ophelia, and Lour de Beatriz, right? No, Jancy. Jan, si ustedes están en el grupo de los que toman notas, ¿ok? So, ¿quién más está en ese grupo? You four, I guess. Ok, so, let's see. Uh, Rosa, Elena, go ahead, please. Ok. I'm going to ask some questions. Uh -huh. uh, your... Uh, your answers can be short or long. It doesn't matter, but uh, ask, uh, answer the question, please. Uh, I'm going to ask uh, Ada Patricia. Mm -hmm. Okay, Ada Patricia, what do you do on holidays? Mm, in my case, um, uh, before work, um, and at home, uh, como adornamos in the house. We uh, prepare or we do arrangements. We, we do decoration. Prepare. Okay, we we prepare with my family um, three, three Christmas. Mm -hmm. That's. Only that? Yeah? Yeah? Only, only one thing, teacher. The question is not specific for the 
the date, especially the 34 and the, uh, the New Year's Eve, no? Can be, can be. Can so be. you can you can modify the, the, the way okay. that you answer. You uh, answer more specific, so. mm -hmm. more specific. Okay, okay. Okay, and then I'm going to ask uh, Lourdes. Uh, Lourdes, what do you do on holidays? I'm going to ask a, spe a specific date. In this case, what do you do on December the 24th? Okay. Uh, good evening, everybody. Um, with my husband, I... Um, I uh, we speak um, in where place uh, we celebrate that that date because uh, in some occasions uh, we pass with my uh, with my mom, my father, or uh, in in other occasions we pass with my mother-in-law, father-in-law. And, and uh, before the the date, we we do a um. Ay, se me olvidó. Eh, como como hacer una rifa. We do a una vez dijeron aleatorio. Secret secret Santa. That's how we call it. Uh, like the raffles okay i don't know if that is like a raffle or it is like a secret santa right secret santa that would be like amigo secreto right in, in no no eh, hacemos como un, una pequeña rifa para to to decide in what in, in where place we pass eh, mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. so that eh, would be like a raffle a raffle okay thank you and uh, then um, we we pass uh, in in that place, and we first we we travel to to father's house or my father-in-law house, and uh, then uh, we help to prepare cook. Uh, with this family and we talking about uh, different topics with with uh, the families and in in that in that meeting we we do uh, different games uh, for example with my co uh, no with my a nephew and, and niece. Uh, we uh, play soccer or uh, juego de tablero. <laughs> I don't remember. And board games. In other in other games. Sorry. Board games. Board juego games. de mesa, right? So oh, board okay. games. War games. Uh, yes. And finally, we we have a, a special dinner with um, my family or a, with the family of my husband. Only that. My good. I enjoyable experience. Yes. Do you have. <laughs> yes. yes. Okay. Teacher, is the same question until all the all the participants yeah mm, not really you can no continue with the yeah we with can another. continue with the second question to somebody else ah, okay okay mm -hmm. okay um i'm going to ask uh, darwin mm -hmm. darwin okay. yes, <laughs> they're using you. alcohol beverage oh. during the holiday <laughs> Be honest. Be honest, please. Excuse me, repeat the question, okay. please. Do you drink alcohol beverage during the holidays? Oh, no. 
never, never drink. You don't drink. You don't drink. In my life. Oh, never. Okay. You are a healthy man. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What do you drink uh, in holidays? In my case, I prefer uh, tea. Um, Mm -hmm. or refresh the fruit okay. natural 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 drinks mm -hmm. ah, natural, natural drinks okay drinks. Okay. Yes. okay okay so be honest start with say the truth <laughs> a cup of wine I don't Ma know. mention <laughs> that mention that you drink mention the name of the the chaparro. name of the <laughs> La trenzuda, right? <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, I'm going we have to a, We have a healthy guy <laughs> yes. in the focus group. Okay, okay yeah, continue, Rosalina. Okay, That's I'm, a going nice to question. Ask, mm -hmm. I'm going to ask Nelson. My goodness. Be honest, Nelson. Yeah, be, be honest, Nelson. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Do you drink alcohol beverage during the holidays? In my case, no. Um, I go year, um, two year. I go two year. Uh, I, I, I drink, but it's a little. But at the moment, um, I, I don't know. No, I don't like. Okay, so three years ago, three years ago, you used to drink uh, alcohol drinks, ten, right? Ten year. Ten. Ah, okay. Yeah. Ah, ten. Even better, even better. <laughs> 10 years ago. Okay, yeah. nice. Now, what dates you don't really drink alcohol, just natural drinks? Okay. Mm -hmm. yes. Continue, Rosa. Okay. I'm going to ask Adriana. Mm -hmm. I'm going Be to honest, ask Adriana. Adriana. Be honest, Adriana. Okay. <laughs> Do you drink alcohol beverage during the holidays? Um... In my case, I literally, I literally uh, drink alcohol. In my other family, yes. Um, for example, um, micheladas, um, sangria, <laughs> sangria, no sé si es sangria, uh, Smirnoff. Uh -huh. In my case, yes, liter, liter. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. What kind of beverage do you drink? Mm -hmm. Wine? A cup of wine? I don't know. No. What? A cup of wine? Mm -hmm. No. Wine. The grape. <laughs> uh huh. Wine. 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 Oh, vino. Vino. Ah. <laughs> Um, how yeah, do you drink? Yes, yes I mean, oh. you know, uh -huh. oh, or okay. eh, Smirnoff. I like Smirnoff. Mm -hmm. Okay, 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 thank you. Okay, I'm going to ask, um, oh my god, hey, Gloria, I'm going to ask, uh, how many people will arrive in the holidays? In my house, I celebrate the holiday uh, only in family. Um, really, Carmen, really not uh, receive visit. How many people? Uh, it's my my two um, my two children, my sister, and I. Uh, my 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 children no uh, come on see no no try uh, your your boyfriend or your uh, and at house no I will not not yet <laughs> okay <laughs> okay me quiero decir okay Michelle hmm Michelle okay honest. Michelle how many people will arrive in the holidays? Well, in my case, around 10 people come to my house 
um, my uncles, my sister, my brother-in-law, my niece, and, and obviously my, my, my mom, my father, and I. So okay. that's why you have to prepare a lot of food then people imagine. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Can I continue with another question? Yeah, go ahead. Continue. Continue. Okay. Angela. Angela. Mm -hmm. Hello. Okay, Angela. What do you do on holidays? Especially on December the 24th. And I, uh, in the celebration of the holiday, in thin weekend years, ¿cómo sería? Final de año. Fin de año. The New Year. The New Year. In years with my family. But what do you do, especially? Do, do, do you, you don't do nothing special? Maybe a, a meeting together, eat, talk, mm -hmm. then uh, I don't know. And in my case, and uh, the celebration with my family and uh, with uh, my sister, my brother, my mother, and my daughter, and my son. Okay, that's it. That's all. Yes, yes, <laughs> okay. yes. But you, uh, but you uh, pass a good time. Excuse me. You pass a good time with your family. Yes. You enjoy the moment. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, only um, dinner with my family. Okay. Thank you, Angela. Okay. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to ask uh, Jancy. Okay. Jancy. Jancy, what do you do on holidays? Um. I celebrate the holiday muy poco, casi no celebro, except the, the birthday day, the, my family, uh, in my work, the, the birthday before work, but I don't, uh, I don't celebrate. You don't make a, a big party at your home in Christmas. No. no. For you, it's a normal day. No, but my family, I don't share the celebration, celebration for you. Experiencias, ¿cómo se dice? Mm -hmm. So you mean like because of religions, ah, for because example, of religion. ah, of because of religion. religions, belief, uh -huh. okay. Ah, okay, or can be like personal belief, like creencias personales, right? So, or uh -huh. can be because of culture. Uh, yes, but I don't like to go on the charts. Uh, for this, uh, I celebrate with my friends in your house. House in for their, in their, their houses. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Thank you, Jans. I'm going to ask uh, Osme. Yes, yes, sir. Okay, Yasmin. What do you do on holidays? On December the 24th and December mm -hmm. the 21st? Yes, uh, I celebrate day because no, it's a specific day. I celebrate when, when I have um, 
my day off. In my case, yes, I are in my house celebrating with my family. You celebrate at home with your family. Uh, when I are in my house, yes. Ah, when you don't when you don't work on, on this day, I think. Yes, in, yes. Yeah. When I work. Yes. In my you yard, yeah, you are working. No celebrate. <laughs> okay. Only, only you, work when alone. you celebrate in my house. alone. No most um uh, rest and be with my family, prepare diner, drink water, uh, food, national drink. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Osmin. Yes. Yes. Okay. So I guess we have all the answers, right? So for all the questions, obviously because of the time, so we are going to just have a few questions and a few answers, right? But in real life, so a focus group, did you remember the time frame that we mentioned that it's normally to have the focus group? Did you remember lo leímos ayer? No se acuerda. ¿Cuánto dijimos que podía durar un focus group normally? Nadie se acuerda, los vamos a dejar reprobados, niños. So we say yesterday, ahí leímos en algo que leímos ayer que decía de que el time frame for the focus group it's 90 minutes. Okay, 90 minutes the less than 160 minutes the most, okay? So esto es un, un apenas nosotros llevamos unos que 20 minutos, right? So but in real life, in real life so it's like more than an hour, okay? More than an hour. Because remember that the idea of the focus group is uh, know the people opinion, right? That's the idea, okay? Get the idea, get the opinions, get the results in case if we are planning, right? To do something like sell something, release a product, and so, okay, nice. Okay, let's see what time is it. Okay, I have to pass the attendance and then uh, we are going to uh, get together to see the results, okay? We will see the results. Espero que hayan tomado notas y se acuerden de lo que dijeron, okay? So we will see, okay? Let me, let me pass the attendance. I need to validate one more time the attendance. Um, Ada Patricia. Here. Thank you. Adri, Stephanie. Present. Nice. Uh, Michelle. Present. Thank you. Uh, Angela. Present, teacher. Thank you. Darwin. Present, teacher. Thank you. Flor de Maria. Present. Nice. Um, Gloria Elizabeth. Here. Nice. Joana Patricia. Lourdes Beatriz. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Margarita. I'm here. Thank you, Mayra Melanie. Present, teacher. Thank you, Nelson. Present, teacher. Thank you, Ophelia. Here, teacher. Thank you, Osmin. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Rosa Elena. Present. Rafael. Sandra Gladys. Present teacher. Present teacher. Thank you. Rafael and, and Sandra. Uh, Susana Carolina. Present Miss. Thank you, Jancy. Liz, Jancy Elizabeth. Present. Thank you, M. Sulma. Present. Okay. So, uh, look, we are going to do something, okay? So, we are going to do something because we need to participate, okay? So, we need to participate in this, okay? So, the ones that are with Darwin, 
Mayra. Eh, ¿Quién más va ahí? Este, Yancy. Eh, ¿Quién más va ahí? Este, ¿dónde, ¿Dónde es que se me hizo? Este, Ofelia. No la veo. ¿Dónde está? Ahí está, Ofelia. ¿Qué okay, hizo? So Ofelia. ¿Quién más? Falta alguien que mencioné. ¿Quién más va en el grupo de los que están con el Serpi? Mayra, Darwin, Jancy, Ophelia, just four, ok. So, dejen ver si puedo hacer los groups right here. Y ver si los puedo dejar a ustedes four. Quiero ver... Mm -hmm. Darwin, Ophelia, Jancy, and Mayra. Let me move Mayra right here. Mayra, Melanie. Okay. So you four. Then we have uh, Rosa, Elena. ¿Quién mapa con Rosa, Elena? Mi teacher, Adriana, Adriana, Adriana Michelle, Gloria, vaya, tengo a Adri, Gloria, Lourdes y Rosa mm -hmm. Elena, right? Rosa Elena. Somos los que participamos. Uh -huh. Son los que. Rosa Yo, Elena. Este ex espectadora me dijo. Sí, y ahorita nosotros nos quedamos este. En otro grupo, déjenme ver aquí. Tengo ya a Adri, Gloria, Lourdes, en Rosa, Elena. So, solo cuatro dije. Osmin no iba en este grupo. Mm, ay, sí, Osmin. Yo digo, ajá, Lourdes, Michelle, Osmin, Rosa. Yo no estoy yes. en ese grupo. Ajá, a Glorita no la había puesto en este, pero. Ah, oh, vaya. No, como no, Gloria es la que tiene la. Quiero ver, Osmin, ¿dónde está Osmin? Osmin, Osmin, Osmin. Aquí está Osmin. Usted va en, en ese el... grupo iba Roselena, Osmin, Lourdes, uh -huh. Michelle y Adriana. Ah, ok, uh -huh. Michelle yes. me falta. Anna Michelle, move to number, room number two. Vale, entonces ahí está en el grupo 2, Adri, Michelle, Gloria, Lourdes, Osmin y Rosalena. Así creo que estamos. So, room number 3, dije que iba a estar Angela, Zulma, y Florcita y Flor. Ajá. Uh -huh. Zulmi. Vale, además nos vamos a ir al grupo 4. Nosotras. Vale, queda junto en el grupo 3. Angela, Flor, Zulma. Solo ustedes tres. Ok, en el grupo 3. Ustedes están en el grupo 3. So, ustedes okay. son las que van a dar las okay. conclusiones. Ustedes son las conclusiones. Ok, so, en el grupo 4 nos quedamos los demás. Ada, Patricia, Margarita, Nelson, Susana. Rafael, Sandra, en mí, ok, yo estoy en el grupo 4, ok, so, ¿qué vamos a hacer? So, Mayra y en el grupo 1 tienen que ver la respuesta de la survey, ok, cuántos dijeron que sí, cuántos dijeron que no, y ustedes presentan los resultados, right, so, en el grupo 2, ¿quién va a presentar los resultados? En el grupo, ahí se ponen de acuerdo ustedes, ok. So, en el grupo de Mayra, donde están los de la Serpi, ellos van a presentar los results de la Serpi. Group number two, where it's um, Rosa Elena. So, you are going to present the results or the analysis of the questionnaire. Ok, group number three, donde está Angela Flor en Zulma, you will present the conclusion. So, usted va, ustedes son las que van a terminar el, el focus group. 
En room number four, yo me voy a ir con ustedes y ahí les vamos a ver lo que nosotros vamos a hacer, porque nosotros somos los oyentes, right? Los participants, así que yo voy con ustedes, ¿ok? So let me open the room, si we have just like five minutes, ¿ok? Decidan ahí, vean los resultados, and I don't know if just one or two are going to present. So let's move on, ¿ok? Let me open the rooms. Oh my goodness. I already clicked on this. I'm here. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. I'm How here as well. Ajá, por well, fin se you. deja ver, Margarita. Ah, <laughs> oh, sorry. Extrañar. It's lost. Ya, ya, al fin, we see your face, Margarita. Nice. Lo vamos a regañar. Yes. Okay, so we are. Six, I guess. Creo que somos seis, tres, seis, siete conmigo, okay? So we are the ones that are just analyzing the, the, the seeing the results, okay? En todo focus group hay, hay espectadores, right? So están los que están encargados de los results and everything, and we are the ones that are just like the participants, right? So we will see. And uh, we are going to wait for the results, okay? So that's, remember that the focus group, que alguien tiene el micrófono abierto aquí. Okay, ahí está, que se escucha. Mayra, Melanie. Okay, espérame, que Mayra, Melanie. Me está pidiendo ayuda. Ya vengo, permítame, ya vengo. Teacher, hello, necesitamos hello. de su ayuda. Yes, I'm here. Ajá, tell me. Quería que me diera permiso para presentar. Oh, yes. Let me, Aquí let en me el see. grupo. Uh -huh. Let me see right here. Uh, there you go. I guess now you have the option. Okay. No sé si pueden ver mi pantalla. Yep, yep. Oh my goodness, that's cute. <laughs> Thank you. Vaya, um, ahorita estaba terminando los resultados y estaba haciendo el, el como el análisis de las respuestas que eh, son. Yeah. Vamos a preguntar. Miss, how do you say chompi pollo en inglés? My Turkey chicken. Turkey chicken. No, that, that is chompi pollo. That is chicken as well. The thing is que hay diferentes tipos, pero, o sea, en sí es pollo. No puede ser like guajolote es pollo, mezclado. Es <laughs> Chicken. 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 I, I guess that word that doesn't exist in English, but let's search. Chompi pollo es que no. Jamás he escuchado eso. Yo. Carne de chucho. Ese sí. Veamos. No, no, no parece nada. A mí me sale solo chompi pollo. Uh -huh. Pollo en inglés, la historia, miren que está. Chicken, broiler, chick, John Burr, John Land. Pero eso ya serían como estilo de cómo se cocina broil, broiler es el que está así right 
el, el pollo en rostizado. rostizado, right? Así decimos nosotros, right? Ese sería el broiler chicken. Pero. Synonyms. No, I don't, I don't get any work for chumpy pollo. Eso comen ustedes, chompi pollo. Quiero ver, no. Broil, broiler, ese es el pollo. No, I don't have any work. Es que eso creo que... Que es un vocabulario popular. Uh -huh. Sí, eso es un, como un, un nombre propio de nosotros, right? Ellos allá todo le dicen pollo, sea gallina, sea este otro tipo de carne, pero si es así como la carne blanca es. Eh. It says just broiler, broiler says right here. Mm -hmm. No, so that chumpy pollo means chumpy pollo everywhere. So let's see, ya pasaron four minutes, ya casi nos vamos a ir al main room. Teacher, yes. esos pasos, esos pasos los puede hacer con cualquier tema. Yeah, definitely. That's, that's the idea, right? So in this case, we choose holidays porque es algo que we can talk, right? So, and we don't have like a business problem or something but in real life in your job you can create a focus group imagínese que no sé en la empresa pase que usted pone un lápiz ahí y se pierde un ejemplo o pasa en la oficina o en su lugar de trabajo that everyone is coming late llega tarde pasa que eh, la oficina se ensucia rápido temas así verdad pensando laboralmente, right? So, uh, usted puede hacer un focus group y le dice, vaya compañeros, liderarlo. Ok, so mañana a las 8 nos vamos a reunir. Y empezar. ¿Qué piensa usted de la puntualidad? Ah, va a decir alguien para mí, puntualidad means, puede tener preparada una pequeña survey donde ve ahí, si no, las preguntas de la survey, most of the time are like yes or no, right? So, no va a dar una respuesta abierta porque se va a hacer para el questionary que usted puede hacer que ellos hablen y den las opinions, right? So, you can create a survey about punctuality, about be honest and everything. Y ahí empieza usted a hablar. Empieza usted a decir, miren, compañeros, el aseo es bien importante. ¿Qué piensa usted? Porque le gusta trabajar en un lugar limpio, en un lugar sucio. Y ahí empieza Ray, a hablar del tema que, les, que tengan que mejorar o un tema que sea de beneficio para la, para la oficina, la empresa, lo que sea donde usted trabaje. Y ahí al final van a sacar las conclusiones. Y la idea es erradicar un problema o ayudar a desarrollar un producto, que es lo que hemos venido viendo, right? So, testing the product, mire, pruebe esta galleta, mire, pruebe este dulce, ¿qué le parece? No muy dulce, no muy pegajoso, no muy feo el color, muy salado, o so ahí van anotando. Entonces, después ustedes, suponiendo que vamos a re release un product, que ahí decimos, ¿no? Entonces, cambiémosle el color, pongámosle un poquito más de azúcar, este, hagámoslo más, más pequeño, hagámoslo menos pegajoso, y ahí, ¿verdad? Entonces la idea es que la gente que es la que va a usar el, si fuera algo de un producto, de las opiniones y nosotros hacer las correcciones para que den um, 
lo, lo podamos tirar al mercado si es que fuera un producto y si es un problema at the end so we fix the problem ok entre todos llegamos a un consenso y este y resolvemos el problema right so esa es la idea de un focus group ok so y usted lo puede hacer con cualquier tema no necesariamente eh, Holiday, que es lo que estamos haciendo nosotros, porque es un tema fácil para todos y que está actual, right? Thank you. Okay, no problem, Sandra. So, nos vamos a ir entonces al, al main room, okay? So, esperemos que ya hayan terminado los demás para okay. continuar. Okay, let's see. Welcome back to the main room. So I don't know if you finish. I know that it's we need more time, but you know that this is just an example. It's not like a real, real, real focus group. What we are trying is to model it, right? The, the steps that we need to follow and see the results. So the idea is to get results, get answers. Si fuera que, por ejemplo, que estuviéramos produciendo un producto, no sé, un chocolate, una galleta. So, el focus group sirve para get opinions, right? Le doy el chocolate a todos, pruebe, coma, mire esto. Y uno me va a decir, no, es que mire, es que se siente muy este, empalagoso. No, es que mire, yo lo siento simple. No, que mire que yo lo miro feo porque el color es bien feo. Mire, el envoltorio no me gusta. So those the answers are the ones that we need to get. And then we, si somos los que estamos organizando y tratando de vender el producto, le hacemos las correcciones, right? That's the idea. So we fix everything and then we have a better product, okay? So ahí podemos hacer otro focus group and present now the, 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 the new product y ya probablemente decir, hey, ahora sí está bonito, hoy sabe mejor. So that's the idea. Si fuera que estamos releasing a product, si esto fuera un servicio que estamos ofreciendo, no sé, clases de canto, no sé, eh, no sé clases de baile, alguien va a decir, no, mire, a mí me gusta baile de, no sé, de tango. No, es que tango aquí no baila nadie, mejor cumbia. Sí, es que la cumbia porque es más fácil. So, y empezamos getting answers y ahí va, ah, pues pongamos una escuela de cumbia, ¿ok? Porque ponemos de tango, nadie va a venir, pero nadie quiere bailar eso, ¿ok? So that's the idea of the focus group, ¿ok? Obviously, we change the topic into Christmas holidays porque eh, estamos solo simulando, ¿right? Y ese es un easy topic for us to talk. Okay, so uh, let's see, we are going to start with the survey, okay? So uh, please help us with the results, okay? Uh, thing number one with the survey. Ahorita lo partimos, teacher. Okay, thank you, thank you. Wow, oh, nice. Okay. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are a group present the result. In this case, the holidays, Christmas. The holiday celebration, in this case, question number one. Do you celebrate the holiday? In this case, 17 people answer the question. The majority is, yes, I do. In this case, 94.1% mm -hmm. celebrate the, the holiday. And 
99% no celebrate the holiday. They don't, okay, they don't celebrate. Okay, nice, interesting. <laughs> okay, the question number two, when do you celebrate the holiday? 17 people answer the question. In this case, 76.5% celebrate holiday in your home. 17 points celebrate in, in that home and the rest in the church. Three question is, do you eat chicken in holidays? It's a uh, 17 people in quest. And the answer is in this case, yes, I do. 78.5% eat chicken in holidays and 23.5, no, I don't. And the final question is, do you cook in holiday? Is the question to 70 people, 70 person, person or people? People, people. People, people, okay. 70 people in quest. And the answer is, yes, I do, 64.7% mm -hmm. and 35%. 0.3%, no, I don't cook in holiday. Okay. Nice. Okay. Thank you. Applause for those results. Nice. So interesting. So imagine que esto fuera algo real, right? Que estuviéramos haciendo un debate de un producto o algo. So ahí están los results. Y si fuéramos nosotros los dueños, right, de la empresa, diríamos, hey, Cambiemos esto, right? Marketing, nosotros necesitamos vender, make money. So that's the idea, right? Get the, the answers from the people that are like the participants, okay? Nice. Okay. So let's move on with the second part, the answers that we have for the uh, questionnaire, okay? These ones are a little bit hard to answer or to analyze. Las de la survey como son como yes, no, es más fácil, right? Cinco dijeron sí, no, okay. But these ones are the ones that we need to, did you remember the quality method? Que solo mencionamos ayer, que leímos que está el quantitative method, okay? And the quality, right? So in el quality, we need to analyze, okay? No es solo decir yes, no, yes, no. We, we need to analyze the, the answers, okay? So let's see group number two, okay? Let's see what you have. Hello. Yes, go ahead, lower this. Okay, uh, in, in our group, uh, our analysis was, in general, the most relevant aspect in the answer, uh, most, of the, most of them celebrate Christmas in family at home, and each one celebrate Christmas in different way. Also, most of them don't drink alcoholic beverage during the holidays, and usually celebrate with a lot of members of family. Only that. Okay, okay, perfect, nice. Yeah, that was interesting, right? The answer about the alcohol beverage or drinks, because normally, normally uh, people say, oh yeah, on Christmas is the only day that I drink beers, uh, tequila, chaparro, eh, que más? Toman ustedes, este, no sé, casi no puedo Wine. nombre de bebidas. Wine, <laughs> ok. So, yeah, mire mm -hmm. Michelle, ahí está. First, ok. Yeah, it's, it's ok, it's ok, ok. Solo que no se pasen de copa, ok. Ahí está bien. Eh, ya ahí si se pasa de copa y agarra zumba, ahí sí hay un problema, right? So, but if you just, <laughs> if you just drink just one or two, I guess. 
it's not it's not bad okay but the answer in this case was the opposite right so nosotros estábamos queriendo vender bebidas alcohólicas ya las regamos porque con los espectadores que tenemos aquí nos dijeron que no entonces tenemos que pensar en vender otra cosa right because nos vamos a la quiebra con uh, alcohol drinks okay so okay nice so if you if if you analyze so this group is it on summary de las cuatro in a few words okay so todo lo que se dijo in a few words we have the summary okay and the analysis is a quality okay quality method okay nice thank you thing number two nice okay let's see let's see the conclusion we have the group number three that is going to uh provide the conclusions the closing damos Vamos a cerrar nuestro focus group. Uh -huh. Group number three. Here. Okay. Eh, Thank you. Sir. Okay. Eh, after the analyze, eh, we conclude that everybody celebrate holidays. And the majority cook a special dinner in uh, this date. And also the majority stay in home with uh, normally with your family. And some people play a secret Santa. Okay, okay, nice. Sulma, thank you. Nice. Well, I don't know if from the participants. I don't know if you would like to add something else before we finish this focus group. No. No, no, no. Nadie quiere mencionar algo relevante. Uh, okay, Angela, please. And the conclusion is that um, the compañeras will make in most um and most of the us thank uh, the people thank uh, thank you God uh, for finishing for another um uh, years. Okay, uh, people say thank God. Because yes. we finished, right? Because yes. we finished another year. Okay. Yes. okay. Okay. Thank you, Angela. Nice. So, in conclusion, right? So, everyone celebrate Christmas in different ways, in different places, with different activities, different food. But at the end, they always mention that they will spend Christmas with family, at home, okay, doing something special, okay? Nice, okay. Thank you for coming. So Rosa, Elena, finish the focus group. <laughs> yeah, you have to okay. say thank you for your <laughs> Okay. <laughs> thank you for your participation. All your answers will be appreciated. Mm -hmm. And we're going to make another focus group the next year. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, so coming soon. Okay, so yeah, coming soon. thank you very much. <laughs> okay, nice. Okay, applause. Okay, we're finished. Okay, nice. Okay, so as I told you, we're finished. Okay, obviously, this is not like a real one, but at least we did the practice. Okay, ahí se fijan que el libro. They are very inter interesting. Yeah, definitely. I was I was looking some videos in YouTube about focus group. They are very interesting. Yeah, you can get a lot of info and important information in any topic. Okay, so we choose holidays because it's easy for us to talk about it, right? But if you search for focus group in real life. So you can talk about any problem, any topic in your business or in your office, in your company, and you can get solutions, okay? Si tienen un problema dentro de su oficina, o sea, le decía al grupo con el que yo estaba, un problema de que no sé, tal vez llegan tarde, 
algo así, pero hay un problema común de la oficina. Dejo yo ahí un lápiz y desaparece. So, puedo hacer un focus group, empezar. ¿Qué es la honestidad? ¿Qué es la puntualidad? So, y empiece, fulano, ¿y usted qué piensa? ¿Y usted qué piensa? So, y ahí indirectamente we can fix the problem, ¿ok? La gente va a decir, hey, no tengo que agarrar lo que no es mío, right? Hey, I have to be on time. So, y ahí usted va a solventar un problema con un focus group, sin decirle, mire, usted viene tarde todos los días, ¿por qué? Venga temprano mañana, no, right? Funciona más un focus group que entre todos sacan conclusiones, get the possible solutions, and fix the problem. Okay, so that's the idea. Nice. Okay, let's see what time is it. Well, we have time. Okay, let me let me share the screen right here. We are going to start with the unit number three today. Remember I told you, right? Yesterday I told you that today we are going to finish uh, lesson number two and that we are going to start lesson number three. So let me see if we can see the screen, I guess, yes. Okay, so this is the topic, how to use transition of addition. So this is something that we will see tomorrow, but this is the start, okay, the product line. So product line, this is the unit number three. Uh, let's see who, uh, Nelson, help us reading the information that we have here, please. Okay. A group of related products that a company served under a single brand. Mm -hmm. Continue right here. Okay. In the products, admin has what? Hires what? Well, adds admin shampoo, admin hair, hair. company, admin face cream, hands. Face cream, hand cream, moisture, oh, I don't know, it works. Ask okay. me. Product line, hair, hair care, shampoo, hair wax, hair hair. Product line, skin care, hand cream, face cream, moisture. Okay, thank you, Nelson. So this is the unit, okay? The unit number three, it's called the production line. Okay, so the production line. So I don't know if in this group, okay, if you work as a, like in a production company, right? Eh, por ejemplo, una maquila. So usted va a una maquila, si alguna vez ha tenido la oportunidad de entrar a una maquila, no, no tal vez solamente de ropa, right? Sino puede ser una maquila, una empresa que se dedique a empacar algún producto, okay, something. So the product line, it's it's not like a line just with a lot of people. So uno se imagina ahí el montón de gente con las máquinas cosiendo todos en fila, right? So ahí bajo, eh, con un gran calor haciendo una camisa, qué sé yo, right? So, but the product line is not just that, okay? So it says right there that it's a group of related products, okay? that a company sells under a single brand, okay? So, toda empresa tiene su línea de producción, okay? Toda empresa, toda compañía tiene the product line y no necesariamente they are like manufacturers, right? So, alguien puede decir, mire, yo trabajo, eh, no sé, yo trabajo en una oficina de, de correos, no sé, de cartas y tenemos que enviar paquetes. So ellos no están produciendo, pero they have to do like steps, ok? No sé, agarrar los, los paquetes que llegan, clasificarlos por tamaño, por eh, lugar de donde van, no sé, se me ocurre, right? So ese es el product line, o sea, ese es el objetivo de la producción de esa empresa. 
Okay. Probably, uh, for example, um, Darwin, right? So, que trabaja en, eh, with papers. Okay. So, no es que él probablemente esté ahí sacando, haciendo el papel y enrollando los rollos o algo así, right? So, el product line de ellos puede ser selling. Okay. Sell the papers, sell the different products, right? And that is the product line. So, de eso vamos a estar hablando en esta nueva unidad de eh, productos, ok, lanzar el, el producto o vender, pero desde la producción, ok, desde la production, ok. So, look, what we have right here, it says the production line. So, this is the unit number three, and it says that at the end of this uh, unit, it says, uh, I will be able to describe the benefits of building a new product prototype before manufacturing, okay? So we have right here um, and a small conversation, okay? This is a conversation between Diana and Tom. And it says Tom and Diana are discussing ideas to begin uh, prototyping a new bicycle model. Read the conversation and take terms practicing, okay? So what is a prototype? Do you know this work? Prototype? Como prototipo o tipo mm -hmm. de muestra. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that would be prototipo, right? So that means like the first uh, equipment or the first survey, the first product, okay? So, en la muestra, decimos nosotros, la muestra del producto. Okay, so let's see, I'm going to read just one time and we will practice, okay, this conversation. It says, Diana, uh, the X accelerator, right, has green light to be produced. Now we need to work on the prototype. Then Tom says, great, I think our best choice is to hire steel masters so they build a good prototype to help us spot any flat we haven't identified in the design. Then Diana says, I'm agree." Tom, the prototype will help our manufacturers to be very accurate with the design of the handlebars, the frame and the saddle, which are the innovation features of the X accelerator. Good point, says Tom. In addition, the prototype will ensure communication is clear. They will uh, show exactly what we want. Then Diana says, uh, totally. Uh, then I work on the uh, sketch of the parts and you may want to start with the description and the specifications of each. So still masters start working. And then says, all right. Okay, so probably we have many, many questions uh, about the, the works. Okay, probably we have new works, but we are going to we are going to continue with this next, 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 uh, tomorrow, next Monday. Okay, so tomorrow, okay, tomorrow we are going to continue. I have a few more minutes and I would like to uh, first uh, mentioned that today we finish unit number two. Okay, ayer a las, quiero ver, like 10, no, 10, aquí estaba con ustedes, like at 11 at night. So I was checking this course. Okay, no sé si alguien ha trabajado después de ayer a, yes. la, a la hora, verdad, después de ayer a las once y media de la noche. Yes, Por, Ms. Sandra. Okay, you. Porque tengo algunas personas aquí que están en deuda conmigo. So I will mention the ones that uh, we need to work on 
if you don't, if I don't mention or if I don't say your name, that means that you are good, okay? So for example, uh, right here, Flor de Maria Carballo. So I don't have a score for the uh, unit number two, okay? Probably, no sé si avanzó ahora o, o ayer ya bien noche, porque yo revisé, como les digo, eh, como a las 11 más o menos, right? So, Flor de María, please work in the platform, the section number two. Sí, yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. Um, <laughs> then we have Joana Patricia, I don't know. I don't know, she's not here. No ha trabajado nada en la plataforma. I don't know. So then we have uh, Lourdes Beatriz. Lourdes Beatriz, the same story. Uh, please work in the section number two, okay? Porque le aparecen 40. Okay. Margarita Stephanie, the same story. You have 100% in the uh, unit number one, but you have zero, okay, in the number two. Please work on that, okay? So, es, todavía tienen tiempo. Um, then we have Mayra Melanie, usted está en 80, en el second, second um, unit. Si puede subir del 80, fuera bonito. The same for Nelson. Nelson, you have 80 in the second, okay? The other ones, you are in 100. But the second, you are in 80, okay? Si puede subir un pelito, sería lo ideal. Then we have Ophelia. Ophelia, you have 80 and 80 percent. Acuérdense que yo aquí veo el porcentaje de lo que les va dando su trabajo de plataforma. Yo no estoy dando nota, no estoy diciendo usted tiene 10, usted, no. Estoy dando el porcentaje de lo que usted lleva trabajado. En el caso de Ophelia le aparece en un 80 por ciento, pero si puede subir un poquito sería lo ideal. Okay, then we have um, Osmin, you are nice. Rafael, you are nice. Rosalena, you are nice. Sandra Gladys, okay. Sandra Gladys, hay que trabajar en la unidad 2. No me le aparece nota. Y... Hoy, hoy en el día. Ah, okay. So ahí tendría entonces yo que hacer el update, okay. No problem. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice, cool. So then we have um, Susana Carolina, the same, please try to work in the activities for the unit number two, porque no me le aparece, no me le aparece ningún score. Y then we have Chancy, está bien, Zulma Rosaura, eh, me aparece en 60, okay, la section number two, lesson number two, quizás hay algunos ejercicios ahí que le, Le hacen falta para que llegue al 85 mínimo para estar a pasar, right? pasar el, el, el módulo de plataforma. Si es que esto lo menciono así random, ok, because you need to know, ok. Si no lo mencioné, porque usted está bien, ok. Ya va el día, ok. Uh, this coming Friday, you know that we have the midterm, so tendríamos que ir ya finalizando la unidad 3. Este jueves, viernes tenemos la clase y vamos a tomarnos unos a few minutes para poder hablar de los del midterm, ok, el examen mediado, ok, so forget about Christmas celebration or Christmas, whatever it's not allowed, ok so no podemos hacer ningún tipo de de festejo ok, así que Solo nos vamos a dar el, el abrazo virtual de Christmas y de New Year. But uh, we are not able to do uh, something else, ok? A lo mucho trae su cafecito ese día, trae una, una, una taza coqueta y ahí nos vamos a echar el cafecito de last day, ok? So, uh, what else? ¿Qué más les iba a mencionar? Ah, les iba a compartir algo. Eh, déjeme ver. Alguien me, me escribió y me dijo, mire, teacher, usted nos dijo que nos iba a dar unos phrase adverbs y, y aquí los estamos esperando. Déjeme ver. Entonces dije yo, ahora va a ser el día. 
So, los phrasal verbs. ¿Se acuerdan de los phrasal verbs? O ya no se acuerdan. Ya. Yeah. In the book, teacher. Yes, teacher. Uh -huh. Yeah, I have a list right here. Creo que son a hundred. Se los quiero mostrar bien bonito. Miren, 200 uh, common phrasal verbs with meaning and example sentence. Ok. So, aparte de estar el meaning, hay un ejemplo. Por eso está bonita la lista. So, let me share the screen. Esto se lo voy a, se lo voy a compartir para que lo tengan ustedes. Como todos estudiantes de nivel intermedio, tienen que tener su material, ¿verdad? De, mire, aquí tengo mi lista de verbos, aquí tengo mi lista de, eh, qué sé yo, libritos así que me puedo leer. Aquí tengo mi lista de vocabulario. So, aquí le voy a regalar yo esta listita de phrasal verbs. Déjenme ver. Pero no se la voy a regalar para que la apuñe ahí en, el, en la computadora o en el teléfono y le ocupe espacio. Nada más. Sino para que de vez en cuando usted abra la lista y vea, vea qué phrasal verse se va a aprender. Miren, los phrasal verbs eh, a veces normalmente es el verbo con una preposición. Hay separate and unseparate phrasal verbs. Yo no sé si eso ya lo vieron. Creería yo que sí. En módulos anteriores. Pero igual. Si no lo recuerdo. No lo han visto. Eh, los phrasal verbs son separate and unseparate. Hay phrasal verbs que se pueden separar. Pero hay otros que no. Ok. Vean este por ejemplo. As somebody out. Este es separate, right? Porque yo puedo separar el verbo con la preposición y siempre sigue siendo un phrasal verb. So if I say as somebody out, el meaning is invite, invite on a date. Invitar a una cita, una salida. Look at the example. Uh, Brian asked Judy, Judy out to dinner in a movie. Ok, so look, así es como está esta listita. Y they are in alphabetical order, ok. So hay un montón más, ok. Pero esta es una lista como de 100, ok. Y está en alphabetical order. Entonces usted lo que va a hacer es revise, vaya viendo. A veces el phrasal verb, como no los podemos, cuando lo escuchamos no entendemos. Porque esa es el, la idea de un phrase al ver que el significado sea diferente. Ok, al unir un verbo con una preposición. For example, let's see. Uh, look at this one. Uh, break down. Break down. Stop functioning. Ok, usted me puede decir, my car break down. Ok, so eso usted me quiere decir, mire, es que quiero decir que se me quedó el carro, pero ¿cómo digo eso? Es que se me quedó el carro, se apagó. Ok, shooting down, sí, pero la correcta sería break down, look, stop functioning, ok, or car break down at the side of the highway in the snowstorm. Ok, so what else? ¿Qué otro phrase, Albert? podríamos tener o usar que es bien común. Este bring uh, something up. Start talking about a subject. Ok, miren este bring something up. Esto de bring something up es como sacar a la luz, right? Así decimos, voy a sacar algo que al para hablar. Look, start talking about a subject. My mother uh, walks out of the room when my father uh, brings up sports. Aquí está. Start talking about a subject. Okay, usted trae un, un tema a conversación. Let's see. Uh, call on, call off. Es, todas estas calls eh, tienen diferentes significados. Okay, call something off. It's canceled. 
Okay, that's the meaning, cancel. Uh, call somebody up is llamar, right? So give me your phone. I will call you up when you arrive in town. So sería una llamada saliente, right? So llamar a alguien. Um, let's see, what else? Alguno que le llame la atención. Esto es de cut out, cut in. Creo que ya lo sabemos, ya los hemos escuchado. Teacher, porque hay unos que se repiten. Porque tienen different meanings. Pero mire, mm. mire este. Por ejemplo, este. Uh, veamos este. Cut something off. Ok. Remove with something sharp. The doctor cut off his leg because it was severely injured. Cut something off. Stuff providing. Cut some, aquí ya sería cut somebody, aquí es otra cosa, pero miren aquí, los dos, right? So, cut something off puede tener dos significados, quiere decir que usted me puede decir, entonces, ¿cuál es pues, el significado? Va a depender del contexto, ok, va a tener usted que ver el, el contexto de la oración, el significado de la oración, para poder determinar el meaning de ese phrasal word. Ok, miren en este remove, ok, el doctor le amputó, decimos nosotros, una pierna porque estaba dañada, porque estaba severamente mal. Y este, stop providing the phone company, cut off your phone because we didn't pay the bill, ok, cut off, ok, le cortaron la línea, dice usted, me cortó la línea la empresa porque nunca pagué. Ok, le desactivaron la línea. Eh, ¿Qué más tenemos aquí? Miren, aquí como les digo, es de ir viendo uno por uno. Yo no le digo, mire, agarre la, la lista y, y véalo todo, porque son varios, right? Pero de vez en cuando puede ir, no sé, tal vez por, por letras, right? Letter A, letter B, letter C, letter G, and so on. Ok, so get... Let's see, get around, get away, go on vacations. Okay. Usted. Sí, en, en the bear gets is my most used common in, in, in first of yeah. yeah, we have many phrasal verbs. Look with the word, with the bear get. Okay. La verdad que sí, miren, get along, get in, across, in, in language. get away. Mire, usted me, usted me, pues me quiere decir, ah, teacher, I need to, uh, I will go on vacations. It's okay, yo le entiendo, me voy a ir de vacaciones, pero usted me puede decir, I need to get away. Y me está diciendo exactamente lo mismo, solo que con un phrasal verb, right? Y suena mejor y suena más eh, sofisticado su inglés, right? When we used uh, phrasal verbs, okay? Uh, let's see, what else? Get over, get over, get together. Okay. Give up is a phrasal verb, yes. Give up, sí. Ah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sí, por aquí creo que lo vamos a hallar. Ah, give, give something, something up. Give something up. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Quite a habit. Sí, ahí está. So, give, give up, up stop, stop trying. trying. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Get after, get against, go ahead. Ok, eso lo digo yo, go ahead, go ahead. So, it's like continue, continue, proceed. Ok, so, go over. Estos son bien comunes. Grow up. Miren este. Hang out. Spend time relaxing. So let's hang up. So si yo le digo let's hang up, es como, hey, vamos a, vamos a salgamos, pero es informal. No le voy a decir a mi jefe, hey, jefe, eh, hang up. No, right? So porque es un, es un phrasal verb informal, aunque el significado. Eh, sea ese, right? Salgamos. Miren. Let. Let in. Look after. Look out. 
Look forward. Okay, es este bonito. Look forward to. Be exciting about the future. Okay, I'm looking forward to the Christmas break. Okay, ya se, me estoy proyectando, dice usted. Me estoy proyectando a tal cosa. Okay, so that look forward. So, as I told you, miren, aquí hay un montón. No los voy a poner todos porque no voy a terminar y no los vamos a, a ver bien, pero I will share it. Okay, so I will share it to you. Y aquí se los voy a poner en el, en el, en el chat de Zoom. Si alguien lo puede eh, pasar al WhatsApp. Yo no estoy en la computer en el WhatsApp, pero tal vez alguien sí lo puede pasar. Déjenme ver a dónde está esto para unir. Um... Oh my goodness, Sulma, be careful with your... Phrase of Berlis cannot be sent because it's currently in use. Oh my goodness, I have to close it. Okay, ahora sí. Ahí está. Phrasal verb, así se llama. Phrasal verb list. Okay. So ahí les queda. Guárdenla, revísenla cuando puedan, tengan tiempito. Y usemos los phrasal verbs, okay? Usemos los phrasal verbs. So I have three minutes. I have to pass the attendance one more time. Okay, so let's see Ada Patricia. Here. Thank you, Adriana Stephanie. Present. Thank you, Ana Michelle. Present. Thank you, Angela de Jesus. Present, teacher. Thank you, Darwin Edgardo. Present, teacher. Thank you, Flor de Maria. Present. Nice, Gloria Elizabeth. Here. Thank you, Joanna Patricia. Lourdes Beatriz. Present. Thank you, Margarita Stephanie. I'm here. Thank you, Mayra Melanie. Present. Thank you, Nelson Edgardo. Present. Thank you, Ophelia Yo Orellana. Ah, okay, thank you, Nelson. Thank you, Ophelia. Nice, Osmin Baires. Present teacher. Present. Thank you, Osmin. Uh, Rafael Ernesto. Present. Thank you, Rosa Elena. Present. Thank you, Sandra Gladys. Present, teacher. Thank you, Susana Carolina. Present, miss. Thank you, Jancy Lisbeth. Um, Sulma Rosaura. Present. Thank you. Nice. Okay. Okay. Perfect. So time is over. Solo quiero ver quién se va a quedar conmigo. Um, let's see. Osmin, you are at home right now, right? Sí, usted está en su casa. Ya sé cuándo está en su casa. Okay. So lo vamos a dejar ahora a Osmin porque mañana usted va a estar en el trabajo, right? So, mañana se le hace más difícil quedarse, ¿ok? So, Osmin me regala ahí unos 10 uh, minutitos de su valioso tiempo eh, al final, ¿ok? So, then the rest is 10 o'clock, so we are free to go. Please uh, rest. No le digo coma porque ya es muy noche, ya no voy a poder dormir. Pero, <laughs> but try to sleep, ¿ok? Drink water and sleep, ¿ok? a cup of milk. Okay, probably, probably, <laughs> right? It's not like a big uh, uh, meal, but something light, okay? Nice. Thank you for your participation today, and I hope to see you tomorrow, okay? Mañana es diciembre. Navidad. Yes, teacher. Okay. Oh Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, okay? No problem. Okay. See you tomorrow, okay? See you tomorrow. Okay.
Merry Good night, Christmas. teacher. Good night, Good night everyone. See you, Bye. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Okay, bye. bye. Okay, Osmin, creo que hoy sí, Osmin. Ya nos quedamos solitos. Me salía mejor dejarlo ahora, Osmin, porque mañana usted está en su trabajo. Si le decía mañana es bien más complicado, ¿verdad? Entonces, por eso mejor lo, lo, lo dejé ahora. Hola, hola, Osmin. Tiene audio, me escucha. Sí, teacher, thank you, porque me dejó para que sí. más fácil esté en casa. ¿no? Sí, ¿Ya? pues sí, por sí, eso sí. dije yo, hoy debe de ser el día. ¿Y qué right. tal? ¿Qué tal, Osmin? ¿Cómo se siente? ¿Cómo valora el, el módulo? ¿Cómo siente? ¿Ha aprendido? ¿Qué le ha parecido hasta este momento eh, las sesiones que llevamos? Eh, en realidad, este, cuando se entra a un módulo diferente, o sea, más avanzado. Hay algunas complicaciones al principio, pero a medida que se va este, desarrollando los temas, eh, uno va entendiendo, ¿verdad? O sea, tal vez de entrada, por ejemplo, la clase de ahora, eh, uno, uno que se queda como rumiando, digamos así, a lo, lo que estudió, y al siguiente día como que tiene más claridad de lo que, de lo que vio. Así uh -huh. pienso, y así, así siento, pues, de que las clases están bien explicadas. Lo que pasa es que como uno entra de nuevo a ese nuevo nivel, o sea, de, 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 de repente a ese nuevo nivel, es el un poco complicado, pero uh, cuando va transcurriendo el tiempo, sí uno va, va captando la idea. Y me parece bien el desarrollo. Ok, ok. Sí, la verdad que, o sea, es bien complicado para, para ustedes, ¿verdad? Porque... Pues sí, todos trabajan y, y, y eso, pues no es que uno se dedique solo a las clases, ¿verdad? Sino que ese es un extra, un esfuerzo que ustedes están haciendo definitivamente. Por eso yo hasta cierto punto pues trato de que este, hacer la clase lo más participativa, sencilla, que ustedes no sientan preocupación o estrés de que la clase y, y tareas, sino más bien que usted aproveche al máximo las dos horas que tenemos aquí eh, para poder usar el idioma. Exacto. De hecho, ni se siente en las dos horas. Sí, la verdad que este súper sí. rápido. Sí, así es. Es un buen método del intercambio, intercambiar. Sí, pues sí, esa, esa es este, la idea, ¿verdad? Y, y no sé cómo, cómo eh, valora usted, considera que va aprendiendo, se van entendiendo los temas. Sí, este, sí, gracias a Dios que siento que sí voy, voy captando. Como le digo, no, no tal vez al 100%, pero a medida que va, como las clases tienen, tienen este, coherencia una con la otra, uno va después armando el, el, la enseñanza y, y le va quedando claro prácticamente. En que hay cosas que sí cuesta, me cuestan en lo personal, este, poderme ubicar, digamos, este, en, en eso que, que tocó usted últimamente, el Russell Bear. Uh -huh. eh, siento que, bueno, para mí, siento un poco difícil. Pero como le repito, al, al entrar ya al estudio y, y en la práctica, Sí, gracias de que se entiende. Ok, ok. ¿Sí? Bueno, Osmin, usted había tenido la oportunidad de, de meterse a clases de inglés eh, eh, antes o usted empezó, digamos, aquí desde cero o desde, digamos, el primer nivel con acá en esta, en esta modalidad. Sí, exacto. Desde cero estamos acá en... en, en inglés corporativo. De ser. Ah, ok, pero mire, interesante. Siempre sí. hay cosas que mejorar y cosas que debemos de eh, pulir, pero más sí. sin embargo, pues yo siento que ustedes 
eh, me entienden en el caso particular suyo, ¿verdad? Ustedes entienden, ustedes leen, tal vez cometemos algunos errores de pronunciación, sí. pero yo siento que sí, ustedes se desenvuelven. En el caso suyo yo le pregunto, usted siempre me contesta, ¿verdad? Tal bueno, vez hay algún bien. error ahí de pronunciación, un pequeño error gramatical, pero ustedes eh, son capaces de responder que es lo importante. Exacto, eso demuestra que vamos captando la, la enseñanza. Y es bueno. Definitivamente. Eh, sí. Ahí lo, eh, que, lo que yo les podría recomendar en el caso muy particular suyo es revisar este, gramática, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, el verbo to be, lo que yo les mencioné el primer día de... Sí, que sí. estuve con ustedes, o sea, el verbo to be, eso fue lo primero que ustedes vieron allá en el principiante. Entonces, eh, eso tienen ustedes que tenerlo bien claro, ¿verdad? O sea, sí. no tener dudas en cuanto al verbo to be. Y si lo hay, o sea, tratar de ir y revisar. Ahora en internet, pues, tenemos todo, encontramos de todo. Revisar esos temas que ya que ya se vieron, lastimosamente yo tengo una agenda, un tema que desarrollar, yo no me puedo poner a, a repetir todo, ¿verdad? Lo que ya se vio, claro. solamente sí. hacer como referencia, ah, esto lo, ya lo vieron, entonces ahí tener una alerta, o sea, ah, sí, ya lo vimos, pero yo no me acuerdo, entonces yo ve y yo voy sí. a buscarlo por mi propia cuenta. Exacto. Sí, tiene razón, sí, usted no, 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 aunque yo sé que Quisiera hacerlo, no puede, porque le tomaría mucho tiempo, pero el recordarnos lo que ya hemos estudiado, sí, por ejemplo, hoy en la mañana estaba revisando eso, el verbo to be, y, y siento que me queda claro, gracias a Dios, digamos, el usar los pronombres, ahí, you, he, she, it, we, they, es importante uh -huh. para, para eh, poder, bueno, ser o estar, usar el ser o estar, ¿va? por ejemplo, you are, de, y, es, y hay cosas que son bien importantes que no me olvidan el, el uso de, de, del verbo to be o más bien el uso de, de, de también estaba viendo de los pronombres personales ¿va? Eh, es lo mismo hay you, he, she, it y el otro ahí por ejemplo uh -huh. que el it se, se usa solo en en, en asuntos para objetos inanimados Uh -huh. Y no tiene Para plural. Objetos, ¿verdad? cosas, animales. Uh -huh. Ay, Vaya, no es, 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 eso, exacto. Eso es excelente. Mire, Oswin, que usted se ponga a repasar y a aclarar, sí. porque a veces tal vez lo vimos, pero ya se me olvidó, fue allá en ah, enero, claro. ya no me acuerdo. Entonces, cositas así, detalles, eso les va a ayudar a ustedes a, a irse afinando y a hablar. Alguien me puede decir, mire, es que yo no sé cómo decir. Usted intente lo que ahí le voy a ir ayudando yo a diga tal palabra, pero usted sí. tiene que hablar porque si no, este, nos quedamos cortos en el, en el speaking y usted tiene que hablar, aunque sea ahí Spanglish, pero usted tiene que soltar el, el inglés y mencionar y pronunciar y hablar. Y poco a poco lo va perfeccionando y va aprendiendo más palabras, más vocabulario y va eh, mejorando. ¿verdad? Esa es la idea. Exacto. Sí, de verdad, gracias. Porque ok. Está interesante las clases, así se lo digo. Me, me parece excelente cómo enseña porque tiene esa dinámica, ¿verdad? Y sí, es muy importante. y como yo les he dicho, o sea, yo no puedo venir aquí a solo yo hablar y hablar y hablar. Primero, que ya es noche, sí. todo le va a dar sueño. Segundo, mm. que bien aburrido, ¿verdad? O sea, estar solo viendo ahí que hablen ya. Yo tengo que hacer que ustedes hablen, por muy chiquitito lo que diga, pero que me diga algo. Que me lea por aquí, que me lea por allá, que escriba por aquí, que escriba, aunque sea un pedacito, una línea, pero que me haga algo. ¿Verdad? Esa es la idea, que ustedes lo hagan. No, yo voy a estar escribiendo todo aquí. Sí, eso no es sí. el punto, sino que ustedes. 
Y igual eso les ayuda a estar activos, a estar despiertos, a estar este, poniendo atención y, y evitar el sueño. No, ok, teacher, sí, gracias. Bueno, gracias. Pues, gracias. Gracias igual a usted. Pase buenas noches y nos saludamos mañana. Primero Dios. Ok, see you later. Teacher. See you later. See you tomorrow. Bye okay. bye. Bye. Bueno, mucho gusto.